Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to go over meshes. So I'm going to press T and open up the toolbar. Now I'm going to press Shift A and just add a mesh, like a UV sphere. And over here in the toolbar you can see that over where the it displays the most recent action, you can change stuff with the newly added object. You can also make it align to view, change its location, rotation. I'm going to delete this by pressing X. Now I'll add like a torus, how about? You can change its segments, minor and major. This will, then the my major radius and minor radius. Major radius controls basically how big the hole is, so if you want the hole to be big, it'll be big. Minor radius is basically how big the thickness of this torus, the width of it is. So you can make it thicker like that. I'll press X and delete it. You can also go and grab a cone and such. You can change its base fill types, the fill type of its base. So right now it's at the end on, which means it's bottom of it will just be one face if you make it a triangle fan and tab into edit mode it will be uh, sort of determined by the all the faces around it and will meet in one point if you made it just an end gone all this would just be one round face and if you made it a nothing it would just be bottomless. Now radius 1, radius 2, and there's also vertices to make it to change the number of faces or vertices around this torus. So radius 1, you can change the bottom vertice and a uh, face, and radius 2 will change the top one. So if you make this not equal to 1, it will actually be a cylinder so it's just a cylinder right now because these two radius are the same and you can also align it to view. <coughs> but I'm going to delete this. But now we can go to our meshes. And well, you see here you have these meshes, but wouldn't it be great if you could have more? And if you want to have more meshes that you can make. Hit Control Alt U, and that will open up your user preferences. So we're going to need to go to Add-ons, then go to the Add Mesh Add-on. I'll just select a landscape, arc uh, mesh. I'll just select all of them. Save your setting, user settings. So if we reload Blender, it won't not save well if I you don't click save you the settings next time you load blender you won't have these options you selected saved now when we go to mesh there's many more options many more things to add so just go like arc mesh or something you can add stuff you can add all sorts of things sorts of things like a door yep a door or a round cube or go to extras and a diamond there's just so many things to explore gem and don't forget there's always options over here for you to toy around with when you make the object there's also a twisted torus It's also a nice landscape. So with the landscape, you can change the number of subdivisions for like the number of faces that you want. So you want to make it blockier, smoother. Just keep in mind that having a lot of faces will cause a lot of lag. The mesh size, mesh size, the noise, you can change all this stuff, whatever, it will change the... Uh, Okay, I'll just make this landscape again. 
change stuff. Just um, marble, I don't know. Well, there's a lot of options here. Just noise rocks. Or noise blender. There's all sorts of things. Random seed. The seed of it. The depth of it. So let's make it 16. Okay, just make it 8. That's what it was before. You can also just change the the type below. Default, so just this kind of landscape. Large terrain, which makes a larger terrain. Lakes too, a lake. Ridged. Call for hills and all sorts of things you can just toy around with. There's just so many things over here, like a teapot and such, that you can play around with. Resolution, hmm, okay, blocky. Teaspoon, you can also make it a teaspoon instead of a teapot. A honeycomb, number of columns, five, number of rows, six, make it lots of them. Cell diameter, cell width, one. Okay, that made weird stuff. And there's just so many things. You could look through everything. Also, actually, you can open up the user preferences again. There's many other add-ons, including like an add curve. If you want extra curves, you can add these too. So save your user settings. If you go to the curve, there's more than if you didn't have this, like a knot, a twisted torus or something. A braid knot. And if you want to convert this knot to a mesh, you can just convert any curve to a mesh by hitting Alt-C and it's converted to a mesh. And now it's got faces instead. It's got a lot of faces, 28,800. Quite a lot there, so it would cause a lot of lag if you were in a, had too many of these. And that's everything for this video on meshes. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.